Yeah, back then I used to have so much fun. Uh, here's a picture of me back then having fun. Hey, guy sitting on a pile of wood. Yes. I, uh, yeah, I heard you quit drinking, so I I was wondering, uh, well, I wonder why you quit drinking. Because fun is bad. Uh, well, what do you mean fun is bad? I mean, you know, it's fun. Like, how, how, how can... How can fun be bad? It's, it's, it's fun. Because fun is how you get stabbed. Get, get, get stabbed. I mean, who's gonna stab you? The stabby people, they stab if you have fun. And that right there is why I quit drinking. I'm so mad at all this snow, I could throw a snowball at my truck. Oh, I missed. So yeah, basically now I'm uh, 42 and I'm going to spend uh, the next 42 years sitting here uh, by myself thinking about all the things I did. Maybe this is the part where I start confessing my sins. Like, Billy, I'm sorry. Yeah, some of you other people, I was pretty bad when I was drinking. Sorry about that. I, I don't really remember, but... I'm sure something happened. So sorry about all that. They say I'm supposed to make amends. Yeah, pretty sorry. Oh, good that we got that out of the way. I feel better. 12 steps. It's like 12 million steps, man. I'm uh, Joey and, and I'm a fucking alcoholic. Oh, I need a higher power. I need to, I'm always gonna be an alcoholic because I have no control because I'm such an idiot. Yeah, that's me. You know, to me, that's that's the sort of language and thinking that got me to be drinking in the first place somewhat, you know? Because it's like, ah, I'm garbage. Well, at least drinking's nice. Until it wasn't nice anymore, I mean. So basically, uh, 15 months sober. Yeah, life hasn't gotten all that much better. It's just, uh, it just stopped the bleeding, basically. The depression's not bleeding as much. Bloody depression. I tried some of that near beer. Why would I even want that stuff anyways? Near beers. I don't want to be near beers. Now I like uh, fancy drinks like Gatorade. People say, 15 months, Joey. Congratulations. Congratulations on 15 months sober. And it, I mean, to me, it's sort of silly. It's like saying, like, congratulations on no longer trying to kill yourself. Way to go. Way to, That's good job. To me, like, the basic thing in existence is that we're all trying to not die right we're out in the jungle fittest trying to be the one that doesn't get die uh, dead you know so when you're doing something that's basically suicidal behavior and then you stop doing it you're basically doing the bare minimum survival of the drunkest man it sure is snowing out there i mean uh, you couldn't uh, wait for halloween yeah it's gonna be a long sober winter about, after about 78 beers, I'd start telling people what's wrong with the world. Those are some good times, yep. Three in the morning, and we're talking about anarcho-syndicalism. And by four in the morning, we're talking about the Spanish Revolution. By 4.30, we're talking about Immanuel Kant. By 5 a.m., we're talking about post-modernity and the lack of all meaning. And by 6 a.m., we're talking about getting more beer. Those are some good times, arguing with people all night long. I sure miss that. Pe those are some good times. With all those people who I thought were my friends. <laughs> Man, it's October 12th. Why is it doing this? Well, really, I only drank three times. Like, first time was, uh, well, all through uh, high school. Yeah, it was a lot of it. And then I got sober for a little bit there. And then, uh, well, there was a second time I drank. That was uh, up till I was about 27 or so. That was, uh, that was some good times. And then I uh, drank again I, for a third, a third time I drank, and that was for a good 10 years. Yeah, it was maybe 12. Congratulations, Joseph, because it's probably not the drink that's the problem. It's probably something deeper inside yourself that's uh, some sort of demon that uh, you need to deal with. Everyone has their own story as to why they quit drinking. Like uh, you, Australian guy. Why did you quit drinking? Well, that croc bit me bloody drinking arm off. Oh yeah, hey, I, I found this. It's not so much that drinking made me a bad person. It's more that I was uh, already a bad person.
in the inside and drinking was just covering that up. The one thing you are still allowed to make fun of in comedy is yourself. Selfism doesn't really work. But you're allowed to make fun of yourself. Ha! Ah, I can see myself in my phone. Ah! I'm not I'm not making fun of you, I'm making fun of me. Ah! There, is that better? I mean, I don't hold it against you if you need to drink still. Uh, I mean, if that's your business if you want to be a bad person. That's got nothing to do with me. Ah! Yeah, I almost forget what, uh, what being hungover or puking or having the shits is like. Yeah, speaking of the shits, this one time I was... It is true, though. That you're way less likely to get stabbed or bit if you're not drinking. I wish that was the only reason I quit. If anybody walks down the road, they're gonna think I'm crazy talking to myself in my woodshed. They'd be right. Seriously, this is not happening. And I never fell off a horse when I was sober. Drinking and horsing used to be a thing, you know, because people would go town and drink and then they'd get on their horse and then, uh, They'd, uh, the horse knows which way is home, so then you fall asleep on the horse on the way back to the barn because the horse knows which way to go. And then you fall off the horse, and then it kicks you in the head and stomps on your head a lot. So drinking and horsing is a bad thing. You know what's awesome is water. Ugh. Well, so anyways, uh, I quit drinking, and that's uh, the story of it. Yeah, I used to uh, play with my band in clubs and... We'd all be drinking, everyone drinking, having just drinks, lots of drinks, you know, and everyone, lots of people having fun and partying and sure is better now here. Yeah, it all changed for me that one day when that, that doctor said, you don't have to live with crippling post-traumatic stress disorder every day. Well, you gotta have a sense of humor about things. Good luck out there, friends.